and you will tell me We're coming to you live from Cherry Hill in North Leeward. And right now you are looking at some live drone shots. We're giving you a closer look, a different view of what's happening down here. Uh, Cherry Hill is between Petit Bedell and Chateau Bel Air. So we are in the red zone because we want to really give you a much closer look of what's transpiring here in North Leeward. I'm your host, Candice Seeley, and on Thursday, which is yesterday, Thursday the 8th of April, is a day that was forever etched in the memories of us as Vincentians, the day when the evacuation order was given as we brace ourselves for the eruption of the last Sufre volcano. And as I mentioned earlier, we came down here very early this morning to give you a closer look. We got up, uh, well, we left Kingston around 3 o'clock this morning, and on the way down, we still saw vehicles coming out of North Leeward. We saw vans, we saw trucks, you know, people getting out to safer areas. But there are still people who have decided to stay behind to protect their property. Um, definitely would like to advise you that that is not the best route. Um, you should try to get out of the area and go into an area that's the green zone or an area that's the yellow zone. I want to take this opportunity to say a big shout out to Nemo and all of the other persons who were instrumental in moving persons from the leeward and the windward side of the island into safer areas. I understand there are still persons on the windward side, for example, in South Rivers that need transportation, but I did see on social media uh, persons are mobilizing to make that happen. And also the shelters are obviously open. A lot of persons are already uh, donating items to the shelters. And I got to say a special good morning to Mazart, who on Facebook is encouraging persons to actually adopt a shelter. You know, so even though you are in a safe zone, you can check out a shelter and see if they need any assistance and donate to them as well. You know, we are a resilient people. We are Vincentians. And no matter what come to us, we will definitely overcome that. Now, we, as I said before, we are in the red zone. And in the distance, you can see um, the volcano. It's actually steaming right now. So we're going to have a quick interview with someone from the community because we have to leave here to go to another area because it's not exactly very safe. So I'm going to welcome uh, DJ Flip. DJ Flip is from the North Leeward community. Can you just come in a little bit closer? Sure. <laughs> Flip, how are you this morning? Um, I'm doing pretty fine for the time being. I'm just um, here hoping for the best for our community of North Leeward. And we are here on the ground to lend our assistance to those who are most in need of um, such. So I'm doing pretty fine for now because I'm not well until everybody's well. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the mood like? Well, I should let's backtrack a bit. What was the mood like yesterday when persons were being evacuated? Um, yesterday when persons were being evacuated, um, there was, there was, um, it, it was mainly chaotic because, um, I mean, after Nemo and the, the other authorities has been reiterating from time to time, the muster points and so forth, uh, we still realized that there were a lot of persons who didn't know exactly what to do and where to go. And apart from that, um, there, were more of a, there, there was more of a panic situation, whereas persons, um, because they didn't see um, transportation, 
at that point in time when the evacuation order was given they were more or less like panicking as to how they are about how they are going to get out and um, one of the major concern is where they are um, about to go so the mood was you know it, it was a bit like they were on the edge but um, what I'm very happy about my people for is that they were prepared everything was packed and they were just there and set and ready to get out okay that's good to hear and um, what was the means of transporting them out of the community um, to get the to get the people out of the community or the communities of Notley what I shall say um, uh, well, first up, um, I must give it up to the authorities for um, sending the the, gem, the MV Gemstar um, into the Chateau Belay um, Wharf to get the people out. And also there was the Beckway Express um, who came in as well. So kudos to the, the, the team, the management of the Beckway Express and the MV Gemstar. Within uh, about under two hours of the evacuation order, they were um, here in the waters of Chateau Belay and you know they will take a huge number of persons out. Apart from that um, there were um, vehicles in terms of um, vans and um, other persons with private transportations who um, help who lend their support to get out and I must give it up to um, DJ Rich um, for his um, tremendous effort in getting persons from the communities to the wharf and also from the communities out of Nortleywood as well. I saw him in particular amongst a few others, but I can just remember DJ Rich like doing a tremendous job and yeah. Okay. And um, I saw that you were here maybe around from three o'clock or so looking to see if there were any persons left behind. How has that been going? Have you been finding persons who are staying back to protect property or is it that people were just waiting for additional transportation to come for them to get out? Well, um, um, I'm happy that you raised that. Um, um, that is one of the reasons why we are still here that... Um, to assist persons in the communities to get out because it doesn't make any sense to us that we have an empty passenger van that can take 18 people at a time and we're just sitting there in Kingston. So what happened is that um, we, we decided to come back into um, North Leeward and to assist. Um, what happened is that um, since we got back around 2.55, 3 o'clock in the morning is um, we saw a few persons outside and by um, conversing with them to find out exactly what is happening and why uh, and what are the reasons why they are they are still here in the communities um, they basically mentioned that some um, they want to just avoid um, the looting they want to protect their properties and um, conversation that happened um, with a few as well is that they don't want to risk taking a vaccine as well because they are not certain of that. And I was like pretty much shocked as to what um, what was transpired or whatever they heard. So they, um, based on what they mentioned is that um, they heard that they need to take a vaccine to get into the shelters. Like I said, I'm not certain um, if that was the case or if that is the case for them to get in the shelters. But that is why, that is um, one of the reasons why some persons decided not to leave okay um right now on your screen you are seeing a drone shot of the chateau belair village um we are in cherry hill which is between chateau belair and uh, petty bobdell so you're actually looking at a drone shot um right now it's a beautiful um town um how long have you been living in chateau Be well in this particular area i should say i don't yeah. want to get the specific town yeah. incorrect oh, you're, you're correct chateau belair um, just down, down that um, area. Um, I've been living here just uh, just about 30 years. Okay. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much all your life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Correct. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've been living here around okay. three decades. Um, and just to get back um, to the evacuation, I just want to encourage persons to make sure that you're following the COVID-19 protocols at the various um, shelters. And, you know, any questions you have as it relates to the vaccine or additional COVID information, I urge you to reach out to Nemo to get further information um, about that. Okay, so Flip, what's the next step now? Like, at what time do you plan to leave this particular area? Because at any given moment, I understand the volcano can erupt, and I, where we are right now is not very safe. Mm. So we're leaving as soon as we finish yeah, yeah. Um, with you. When do you plan to leave? Um, to be honest, Candice, 
when do we plan to leave? Um, like I said before, um, we are not safe until everyone is safe. So what we plan to do is to take a drive through the communities again, like whenever within the next hour or so, whenever we figure that everyone is up and we find out as well if they would like to head out. Because what happens now is that I know most of the um, transportation who lend their service publicly, I know they are outside of North Leeward. And seeing that we are here on the ground, we will like to support and assist where we can. So we are about to take another trip through the communities and see where and how we can assist to get persons out who just might have made up their mind last minute. Um, we can't give a timing on that, but we are trying to get out before 8 o'clock. I mean, we already secured our friends and families, but at this point in time, we are trying to see who else we can help. Um, could you share maybe the license plate of the vehicle so persons who are watching right now on the live, um, they can have a lookout for it and maybe you can just give a message to let people know, you know, where to, to look out for you. If there's a particular area they should assemble, you know, if you can pass on all of that information. Yeah, it's a blue highest Toyota high roof van. It's, it's age 3466. Age 3466. We will be going around. The name of the van is Visitor and it is being driven by DJ Rish. So we will be around in the communities. We go back to Fifth Use area and we circle that area. We come into Chateaubillay. We circle into Sharps Village, Peterbedell, Rosebank, and we take our time and head out of North Leeward any time over the next half hour or so. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. And I have to say well done to yourself and your colleague, DJ Rich, um, for actually taking this initiative and for making sure that persons within your community are safe. So thank you and all the best. Thank you very much. And shout outs to that's S TV Online. S TV Online. Thank you guys very much for <laughs> your courage and coming into our communities and capturing exactly what is happening on the ground at this point. Thank you very much. And okay. you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so that was uh, DJ Flip. He lives in the North Leeward community. As you heard him say, they are trying to get as many people out as possible. So if you know anyone that's currently in North Leeward and they haven't left home as yet, they haven't gotten transportation, please reach out to them and tell them to be on the lookout for DJ Flip and DJ Rich. They are going to be passing through the different communities to help persons to evacuate. Um, shortly or in a little while, we'll be speaking with the chief scientist, Dr. Robertson. But first, we're actually going to be moving from this location because it is not uh, very safe. You should be seeing um, some shots, a shot right now of the volcano in the distance. Um, earlier it was uh, steaming, still is steaming right now. And yeah, very cloudy. Very, very cloudy. Yeah, lots of smoke, I should say. That's my description. I know the correct term is steaming, but lots and lots of smoke um, going up. Very tall indeed. And earlier, um, we actually saw the glow from the volcano. So it was quite spectacular uh, to watch. The team is here with our drones and our video and everything. And on the page, you would see some photos as well of shots that we would have taken earlier. If you do decide to share those photos, please, we ask you that you give us credit. Make sure you credit STV online when you share the images on the STV online um, page. But we're about to wrap things up from this location and we should be heading to the Rosebank area or thereabouts um, to chat with Dr. Robertson, who is the chief um, scientist. Remember, ensure that you are prepared. Um, there may be still some time for you to go to the supermarket. And I actually been told... Okay, so we have somebody else here who's going to chat with us. He was around, if you just turn around and look straight at the camera. He was actually around during the 1979 eruption. So he's going to have a little chat with us. Okay, so, yes, what's your name? Aubrey Williams from Fitzhughes. Okay, from yeah. Fitzhughes. Yeah, yeah. And you are still here. Any particular reason why you haven't left us yet? Uh, well, I don't know. get a little experience from 1979, but this time that looked different from 1979 because I didn't see no burning. Okay. I just see some flowers like in the air, mm -hmm. and then you see something like lightning mm -hmm. flowers. But this time I see burning and like fires. Fires then. 
around the area. So I stay around to really see experience. What was it like back in 79? 79 was ash. And so I see fall ash. And so, right? Never seen nothing else more than ash. And so what I added I had to move out. But now I don't see no ash as yet. So I waited and see if ash will fall like 19. 79, but still, it's just burning, I see now, and fire. Okay. Yeah. And where's your family? Are they here with you? Uh, no, I say no, my family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you sent everybody yeah, um, to safety yeah, and... I, um, I stick around. And you stuck around? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Do you plan to leave or are you pl staying to see what's happening and to, to, to um, take care of property? I'm uh, trying to... Take care of property and watch on what's going on. But if I see something more dangerous, I will leave. Okay. okay. Well, I hope you do leave. I'm encouraging you to leave. leave. Yes, I am definitely encouraging you to leave. Okay? All right. Thank you very much for you. Okay. Thank you for talking with us. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So that was um, a gentleman who was, uh, well, who experienced the 1979 eruption. And I'm just going to quickly uh, read through some of your comments here before we leave this particular um, location. Adriana King is um, expressing concern um, that uh, people are being told that the governments of St. Kitts, St. Lucia, Antigua, Dominica, etc. Um, have said that people must be vaccinated before being allowed to come in. Um, I think that's a topic of discussion. Um, um, yes, somebody else is saying, may God protect us all. Kudos to him. Um, Trevana Morgan is saying, well, okay, he's speaking about the vaccination. Lots of um, big ups going to DJ Flip for what he's doing. Um, Adriana also encouraging people to go to the shelters. And um, yeah, lots of um, well done's, I should say, um, being extended to uh, DJ Flip. Um, but anyway, I want to send a big shout out to all of you online who are commenting. Remember to like and uh, share the live. Um, we're going to be wrapping up shortly to head to another location. Okay, so Mikhail is asking what time we will be in Rosebank. In a little while, we'll be in, in Rosebank. So Miguel, if you, if you want to actually meet us to do an interview with us, you're free to do that. Um, thank you, Shan. Um, we'll definitely be safe. That's why we're leaving here very shortly. Good morning, Nairon Francois, uh, Tashika, Tashika Williams. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, Shanika. Yes, uh, I agree with you, Shanika. Pops definitely needs to leave. And he's still standing here nearby. He definitely needs to leave. I'm encouraging um, him Kent, seriously, no ferrying today. We're taking a break from the ferrying today. We're dealing with the volcano. <laughs> and um, more shout-outs coming to STV Online. Shirley asking everyone um, to stay safe. And so that's what we're urging you to, uh, to do as well. Make sure you stay safe. You know, we are a resilient people, but obviously we still need to take the necessary precautions. Uh, if you haven't gone to the supermarket as yet, you need to get there. I'm sure they're open already and stock up get your batteries your, get your medication from the pharmacy if you are asthmatic make sure you have your inhaler etc make sure you have your mask make sure you have non-perishable goods also ensure that you are paying attention to authoritative sources if you have any questions make sure you reach out to Nemo uh, stay glued to Nemo's uh, Facebook page and I'm sure you can send them uh, you can inbox them or DM them if you have any questions um, there online as well so yesterday we saw the gas stations and the supermarkets and the pharmacies all packed to capacity. Not sure what it would be like this morning, um, but I'm pretty sure the supermarkets will still have a lot of people in there. So you have a little window, I think maybe a short window. I'm not sure. So don't quote me, but, you know, better to be safe than sorry. Go out and get your supplies all stocked up. Make sure your phone is fully charged as well. Any um, portable batteries that you need to charge make sure you go ahead and do that to make sure you have data or whatever the case is so you can communicate with your loved ones so we as i said before we are going to wrap up right now 
and we're going to head on to our next location at Rosebank. Make sure you continue sharing this live, liking this live, and stay tuned to when we reconnect again at Rosebank. Make sure you tell others to jump on that live as well as we bring you a view from the other side, a closer look as to what's happening in the different communities here on the Leeward side. <laughs> 